Welcome to InfoWare. Today we're going to talk about uh, starting a GPS navigation with a text message. And um, next to me is Daniel. And uh, Daniel wrote an application uh, that listens for text messages and uh, reads the coordinate and then uh, starts MapTrip and tells MapTrip where to go. Um, Daniel, can you, uh, can you show us uh, what you've done and how it works? Yeah, of course. So what you can see on the screen here is basically, let's move this a bit away, a uh, simulated Android device running uh, our MapTrip application. And uh, yeah, we decided to not uh, implement part of parsing a mesh front message with a MapTrip, but to implement a separate application next separate. to it. Can you show that also? You can already see here. So we have both applications running right now. And the sole purpose of the other application is to um, listen for incoming SMS, and if it matches a certain pattern that you can see here on the right, uh, to launch MapTrip and start the navigation to the destination. Okay, so what you're showing here now, this SMS MapTrip, that is the application that you wrote. Yeah, that's and, right. And you and that communicates with MapTrip? Using the MapTrip interface, uh, yeah, to have bidirectional communication between okay. both applications. And this console on the right, um, that is just you're you're sending a, uh, yeah, a, a text message. message. Yeah, that's okay. right. So yeah, once it the send message button here, uh, the device uh, gets the SMS <coughs> and uh, shows me a pop up to launch uh, yeah the navigation to a destination. Okay. So uh, can you can you uh, click navigation, please? Yeah, of course. Once it the navigation button, uh, there's a communication with MapTrip, which comes to the foreground, which launches from our application to MapTrip, mm -hmm. and starts the route guiding. All right. Route guidance. And what does the route look like? So, to have a better overview, we switch to the companion traffic. And as you can see here, the destination is in a measure park close by. And um, it goes all around, basically um, using normal streets. Right, yeah. OK, now we have like this special feature in MapTrip 112, which is um, our navigation that is specifically designed for police and, and fire departments and rescue uh, vehicles. And I think you need to add something to the yeah. text message. So, um, yeah. Once that's I hit um, enter uh, that certain tag, just call it Sozi here. Um, mm -hmm. Which is uh, so called. Let me explain that briefly. So, um, this part of the text message here, obviously, as you have probably already guessed, is the coordinate yeah. where the uh, navigation is supposed to drive to. And if it contains this, this string Zosi, yeah. Zosi means Sondersignal, and Sondersignal in English is uh, something like a special signal. It yeah. kind of means the <laughs> flashing blue light on top of the vehicles. So if the this is designed so the um, the dispatcher in the control. control room of the fire department, they send out this message to the device and they can tell them right away uh, if this tag Zosi is uh, contained, then uh, MapTrip starts with uh, an emergency routing, right? Yeah. And you can show that now. So I again send a text message um, to the device. Um, the other application comes up in the foreground. Uh, we get the pop-up again, and I can hit the navigation button again from here. Mm -hmm. So once I've done that, um, now we can see that this this the top bar is flashing in blue, and this icon. Uh, yeah, I have to show it with the with the mouse. So this is flashing blue. This is blue also, and when we look at uh, the route, can you show the route, please? Yeah, let's move over again. Um, yeah, you see that it's it's a different route. It's a more direct route that goes directly into to the destination, even though it's a park, and a normal nav navigation would never do that. But since we uh, put this tag uh, Zosi, Sondersignal, emergency routing, um, into the text message. Now MapTrip is um, in a different mode. It's yeah. in, it, it has calculated a, what we call an emergency route. Right. Um, so, um, Daniel, could you show briefly um, how you have implemented that? How have you used MapTrip yeah. interface to do that? 
So we're, we're looking into the, the source code of your application yeah. now. So the first part, let's uh, move us away again. So uh, that you have a broadcast receiver to pass all incoming SMS messages on the device and once it matches all pattern. Can uh, you highlight that in the code, please? So yeah, I think it's easier to see. Right in here. And uh, when we receive something, we manage to pass it in the end and launch our application to the foreground. So, and then our virtual interface comes into play. Um, so let's move it a bit up here. Um, we first check if Maps was already running and... Can you please highlight the, the, the code so it's easier to see, I think, for the... So with below we check if Maps was already running and we've listened to all the um, callbacks of our interface and once we get the uh, init result and if it says OK, we can uh, move Maps in the foreground, um, already found things and um, yeah. And by using Maptor interface, we can make sure that um, all called commands are in this right order, basically. So we can make sure that everything is running fine on the device and have certain control over both applications running next to each other. Mm -hmm. Okay. And where exactly do we start the navigation? So, um, um, First of all, you have to insert uh, the destination coordinates by using the insert destination address command, and I also put the reason in it to show it later in MapTrip as context to the coordinates. Oh, yeah, highlighted. Yeah, so you're you're talking about this part, right? Yeah, this part, yeah. Okay. So, and once MapTrip tells me that uh, it has to done so, um, I just uh, start the navigation, and um, yeah, there we go. Looks easy. Yeah, <laughs> pretty straightforward. <laughs> okay, so um, I hope you like this video. Uh, I hope you find it uh, helpful. Um, it, we're going to upload the source code of this application to our account on GitHub. Mm -hmm. And um, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us. Uh, we're always uh, glad to help you and uh, to explain to you how to use this stuff.